Hi there! So I built this replica of Deckard's Blaster from Blade Runner a while back, which is one of my favorite movies. And I actually have another build video for this, uh, which I'll leave a link to at the end of this one if you're curious. But ever since I made it, I've just been putting it on my desk or on the couch, and so I've been meaning to get a holster to keep it in. And preferably one at least similar to the one that was in the film. So I looked into buying one from someone who makes things out of leather, because that's not really me, but uh, they're a little out of my price range. So the next thing I thought is maybe there's a YouTube video on how to make my own, even if it's not as perfect as those really expensive ones. But I couldn't find anything. As far as I know, this is the only YouTube video for a Blade Runner holster that is out there. But uh, here's what I came up with for just $40 and really basic and easy methods. So if your goal is authenticity and to have a really accurate holster, then it's certainly worth spending the $200 on some of those more meticulously crafted options. But what I've made here, I feel, is similar enough to the prop in the movie. And from afar, it does actually look similar to what Harrison had in the film. And it's a fifth of the price, and it's fun to make. So, if you're interested in making your own prop holster and need some inspiration, or maybe just looking for an entertaining build video, well, this video is for you. So stay tuned. Alright, so here's the materials used, and I've also listed the prices and where I happened to find them. Uh, it would also be useful to have some tools, so I used heavy-duty scissors, clamps, a knife, sandpaper, a hammer to attach the snap buttons, and also some water to use with the Gorilla Glue. I'll go ahead and let the time-lapse play. this part I'm attaching the little snap buttons to the elastic off camera. Um, basically you just line up either side of it around whatever fabric you're using and then give it a whack with the hammer. So uh, sometimes they'll come with a little rubber tool that you can use with the hammer as well. Uh, but it's, it's really pretty simple to do. Um, and then I also use a lighter to singe the edges of the elastic to try and prevent it from unraveling. Um, as I'll use it, but uh, this next part I am using dark brown leather dye and I didn't have any other plans for this dye so I just used the whole bottle and put it in this plastic container 
And if you're doing this, you do want to be careful with the dye, especially around carpet or skin. So preferably use a hard floor and lots of plastic like you see here. And so I'm pretty happy with the way the color turned out. You may notice I missed a little spot on the inside, um, but that'll be pretty hidden, so I'm not too worried about it. Alright, there it is, and you know I had to throw the Blade Runner shirt on too, uh, but I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. So, thanks for watching the video, I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments, and I'll go ahead and post the link now for the Blaster build video. And also, make sure to stick around till the end for a little preview of another build project. And make sure to subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss that, or other creative videos in the future. Have a great day.